Senator, we appreciate you joining us on the statewide town hall broadcast today. Now, you're the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee, more or less meaning you're in contact with the heads of all these key agencies like CDC, HHS, and NIH. What are they telling you right now that will likely have an impact on us in the future here in Missouri? Well, well John, these are the committees that people in the last couple of months have uh, suddenly begun to hear a lot about. And, and I think uh, they're working together in ways that we have always hoped uh, they could in terms of uh, moving forward quickly on, on treatment, on testing, on a vaccine, uh, trying to figure out how they can develop new partnerships with pharmaceutical companies and others uh, to try to really have all of those things on a, on a two-track process where we're ahead of where we would have been at any other time in all of those things that we need to deal with the virus and then eventually to emerge from the virus with a vaccine. Yeah, I'm curious too, because you made news this week when you see the headline Shark Tank, right? So uh -huh. you, you're, you're looking for what the newest and most revolutionary ways to get things done quickly in kind of a Shark Tank format here. Explain what you're doing. Well, absolutely. We gave a billion dollars. This is something Senator Alexander, for, who's the chairman of the authorizing committee, I'm the chairman of the appropriating committee. Uh, we've worked together for two months now to try to come up with a unique way to fast forward the decision making process. And uh, in five days after the bill was signed, the National Institute of Health had a shark tank up and running. Uh, they had 400 responses in the very first day. Now the job is for those shark tank experts to narrow those responses down. What we want to do is say, let's get the four things that have at least a 50 percent chance of being successful and let's go ahead and start toward production with all four of them so by the time they've gone through the final test let's say it's a vaccine uh, one of those or two of those or however many got through the final test would already be ready to go out and be available rather than be 30 days away or 60 days away uh, from Missourians and people all over the country being able to get that vaccine so we're trying to buy time here with a concept that's a little different than what the federal government's ever done before, but I think it's gonna work. Is that what it's gonna to take to get back to normal? Either, well, first a treatment and then a vaccine because it's kinda of hard to see everything getting back to the way it was until we have both those things in place. The three things we need to be focused on are the vaccine, which probably takes the longest, but we're trying hard to get that done. If we can at all, set a record and get that done by the end of this year. Uh, therapeutics, treatment, uh, which also looking for the things that work short of the vaccine to get you through uh, the virus better when you get it. And then the other thing I think that's going to be critically important is an easy to take and a quick response on testing. And so vaccine, therapeutics, testing, all are part uh, of the Shark Tank uh, concept. Uh, they're talking about a warp speed view toward a, uh, a vaccine. That's exactly what we're talking about as part of the whole Shark Tank uh, uh, process. Senator, one last question here for you. We keep hearing the calls to make sure that from this point on, the manufacture of drugs, of vaccines, of PPE is done in America, uh, along with pharmaceuticals, of course. How do we ensure that that actually happens this time? Because we've been debating this for years, and now we find out how urgent that actually is. Well, in the CARES bill, in that big bill, not the one we just did to clean the big bill up and do things that needed to be uh, to fill in the gaps in the, the CARES bill, uh, Senator Durbin and I actually proposed uh, an idea. We work together on some things. There are a lot of things we don't agree on, uh, but one was to, to have a crash study by the, the uh, National Science Foundation of, of our supply chain, a supply chain for PPE, the, per, the protective equipment, a supply chain for medical devices, a supply chain for pharmaceuticals. Uh, I think we're going to be looking at lots of supply chains as we get out of this in the economy generally, but the most critical one to look at is the one that impacts health care. That's already started. It's already funded. We hope to have uh, some answers soon on what we need to do to have a, a supply chain that's more secure for America's health and also to be sure that we have a supply chain where we don't just have a sole source for anything that we need to keep our country safe and healthy. Senator Roy Blunt, we appreciate your time today.